Hey there friends, I'm Leo, logically, and um, this is gonna be kind of a, a different video because I just want to do a, a little update on what has been going on with Unlighted and just what happened, right? Because it's been a couple of months that I've been trying to fix a very, very nasty issue. You guys remember that I wanted to make my game lighter by using level streaming because that thing kind of made it so that um so that some levels are loaded while others were not it just so happens that i have too many dynamic lights in my game and i cannot see any feasible way to make the game work and my final vision that i had was compromised because of this so what happens is Unreal can't support a lot of dynamic lights, in fact, any engine, like, no engine can support this many dynamic lights. Basically, in my game, every light needs to be turned on or off. So I have a whole electricity system in the game that I wanted to try out, and if you turn all of the lights off, then everything is pitch black, right? So, no game that I know of has ever done something like that in terms of lighting because it is too expensive and no one that is a little bit smart would try to do this you know so i, I feel like that was a lot of uh, lack of experience that i had i tried out using static lights but they cannot be turned on or off and then i tried turning off my dynamic lights when i'm away but just in one scene is already tanking my FPS way too much. Just one room. So there's no way that I can turn off the lights when you are like far away from them if the lights that are that are close to you are already very, very expensive. So then I, I thought to myself, well, I'm going to put this project on a hiatus. I'm going to give it a pause to try and figure this out. I, I waited a couple of months, I worked on the Siren Head Woods game, which I'll get back into uh, a little bit, but then I came back to it and I found out that, you know, Unreal 5 is coming, um, it's just around the corner, and in Unreal 5 it seems like they found a way to, to make dynamic light in a very um, realistic way without it being too costly, so my hopes were in Unreal 5. So I thought to myself, then, you know, it's better if I wait for Unreal 5. But after watching a live stream where they talk a little bit about the Lumen um, system, which is this dynamic light system, it seems like Lumen can only handle 30 frames per second on a PlayStation 5. So it is very expensive. And I wanted to make a game that can be played by everyone, you know, um, I don't want to just the elite being able to play my game that doesn't I don't know spending eight years on a project that barely no one is gonna be able to play and I know that in eight years PCs are gonna be a lot better but still um, I don't I don't want to make a game that is very expensive like that so this project is being put officially on a hiatus and that was very hard for me because this was a big passion project that I had and I spent ungodly amounts of hours in this project you know so i just feel like i i not wasted it because i learned a lot from it but i should have figured this out sooner you know i didn't actually think that dynamic lights were this expensive and also i tried turning down the, the shadows on everything but it, it wasn't even looking that bad but it was still too heavy you know so i'm aiming to have at least 100 frames on my pc which is not a very beast of a computer but it should handle 100 fps oh and um going back to siren head woods i wanted to say uh, the other reason that i'm putting this project on a hiatus it is because while i was taking a little bit of a break when trying to figure this project out i started making siren head woods which is this horror game that i was going to make for like 15 days and um i spent a long ass time doing it you know i was like 16 plus hours daily just working on this game and thinking about it and i started feeling really bad and um i started having nightmares i started you know because you guys remember the part where you find the dead body in the woods you know the the whole game revolved around you finding this dead body in the woods 
And as soon as you find that body, um, Siren Head starts chasing after you. And that was the big reveal that I wanted to make, a very disturbing moment. So, um, that moment is very, like, it, it's taxing on your mind, right? It's just a guy screaming with this really, like, disgusting body on the ground. It's a very, like, strong scene, very violent. Now, imagine having to watch that literally for 500 times that's about how how many times i watched it because i was editing it so i had to program all of the camera changes all of the sounds i had to mix and match the sounds and i had to test if siren head itself was spawning at the right times at the right positions and that was incredibly taxing on my mental health so then i started to imagine what it would be like to actually make a full-on eight-year project that was a horror game, you know? Especially with this corona situation, I was feeling incredibly bad because of that as well. So I feel like the best choice for now is to, to put this project on a hiatus. And, um, you know, I started having like uh, panic attacks during the night and uh, a lot of anxiety. And um, now working on a, a more relaxing game feels like the best option for me right now. So now for the good news is that I started working on the other passion project that I was going to make because back then I was either going to make a horror game uh, based on my favorite horror games or I was going to work on a relaxing Stardew Valley type of game and I now went back to the idea of making this relaxing game and I kind of make this prototype that I'm really happy about. You know, that's why I was a little bit silent on YouTube these days because uh, I was working on this project. But you can download the game right now to try it out. And I, I have another video coming where I show you the actual build. I'm gonna make um, monthly or weekly devlogs on this game. Um, which leads me into another point of making this video. It's because um, I wanted to make this video not only to, to talk to you guys about Unlighted and to show to you the, the new project, but I also wanted to make this video to talk about my the future um, direction that I want to take this channel. I want to make videos, um, devlogs about this one project. And um, it's a project that I'm really, really passionate about and uh, I'm really loving making it, you know. Um, I'm working on the base mechanics for now. I have a public Trello board that you can follow, it's in the description. Um, I have a Discord server that I just opened for the project and the channel itself. And I'm really looking forward to like working a lot on this game and showing to you guys a lot of um, different mechanics that I'm working on. I may make some tutorials or something like that in different aspects of the game. I'm going to share a lot of really cool stuff that I learned and um, I want to gravitate the channel towards the game instead of making my channel about making a lot of variety games. I wanted to make more personal devlogs on a passion project that I have, you know. So the face cams I'm going to reserve for Q and A's or more personal videos where I'm answering questions or stuff like that. But for devlogs, I just want to make a, a very quick video so that I can put a lot more time into the actual game itself. So yeah, um, that's all of the news that I had to give you guys. And if you want to watch the full devlog on the project, I'm gonna have the link in the description or you can just go to my newest videos because I'm going to upload these two videos at the same time. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for the support and the attention. I'm Leo, signing off.